Headlining this edition of Mead Week, Fort Meade's Environmental Division, with assistance from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, have announced that a deer culling project will take place from the end of January through March. The goal is to remove 200 deer and to eventually reduce the deer population to 20 per square mile, down from the current estimate of 152 deer per square mile. You can read more about the planned deer culling in this week's edition of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. Also this week, new prices at the Freedom Inn Dining Facility, big changes in pharmacy operations, details on next week's Martin Luther King Jr. Day Observance, all these stories and more on Mead Week. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. The garrison announced this week that Access Control Point 6, or the Pepper Road Gate, is now open to pedestrians and cyclists from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Pepper Road, located near the Post Thrift Store, can be accessed from Odenton. It's located on the road that wraps behind the Odenton Mark Station and the nearby Odenton Fire Station. In other news, starting on Monday, the New Exchange Mall is set to open the new Post Pharmacy. The new pharmacy will be the only location for pickup and refills on Fort Meade which means that the refill pharmacy at the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center will close. In fact, if you haven't picked up current prescriptions from Kimbrough, you have to pick them up at the new facility starting on Monday. Kimbrough officials add that the procedures for refills will remain the same. Elsewhere, DFMWR announced that most meal prices at the Freedom Inn have gone up effective January 1st. The discount rate, which is charged to spouses and family members of enlisted personnel, have gone up slightly with the dinner meal actually falling from $4 to $3.65. The standard rates have gone up as well. The standard rate usually applies to military members that receive an allowance for subsistence. You can contact the Freedom Inn if you have any questions. Meanwhile, the Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade are hosting this year's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day Observance on Wednesday, January 14th at 1130 at the McGill Training Center. This year's event features nationally known actor, storyteller, motivational speaker, and author, Mr. Bill Grimet. Grimet tells the story of the civil rights struggle through various historical characters. As always, admission is free and open to the public. And finally this week, the United States Army All-American High School Marching Band features 125 of the top high school band members from across the United States. And each year during the Army High School All-American game, the U.S. Army Field Band, based right here at Fort Meade, sends representatives to work with the All-American High School Band. Here's more from San Antonio, and for those who don't know much about the Army Field Band, here's an excellent primer. We're really excited to be here at the 2015 Army All-American Bowl. Uh, this morning we're here checking out all the instruments uh, before the students arrive to make sure that they're in good playing condition. About 12 of us here from the Army Field Band. This is something we've been doing for a while and we love to do it. Uh, we love meeting the students. Um, it's really an extension of what we do for our normal concerts as well, uh, which is connect the Army with the American people and communities all over. And uh, musicians are a community in of themselves, and we love to meet future musicians um, and inspire them through what we do. All the students that are here are the best of the best. Uh, they've displayed excellence through music, which is why they're here, and why they've been granted the opportunity to wear the Army colors. Today was one of the first chances we got to really be one-on-one -on -one with the students and interact with them on a face-to-face -face level and get to know them a little bit more. So the first way we got to know them today was through music. We got to sit down and have sectionals with them and go over some of this music. It's louder, bring it up, but up. I'd say that's, that's where you're going to want to go with that because you're ending at that triple forte. Let's build into it a little bit. It's not the music, but you know. As long as I'm in charge, I can add to Well, these students right? come from all so different backgrounds and all different, very, they're all highly skilled on their instruments, but they've all had different teachers. So what we're doing today in the sectional is really trying to get everyone on the same page. What they're going to accomplish throughout this week is nothing short of extraordinary. I've been here for the past three years and seeing them work together as musicians and the teamwork that they display throughout the week and the show that they perform at the end of the week is phenomenal. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.